Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be creating the Bruce Banner trying to turn into the Hulk effect. And uh, this is what it looks like. Alright, first thing you want to do is you want to film your actor trying to turn into the Hulk. You might look a little bit funny, but it pays off at the end. All right, so you can see me going like this. And you can see that I do have veins popping from the neck, but we're gonna add some more veins. All right, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna click on your layer, come up to animation, and track them open. You wanna find a point in the timeline where you can just select a little few places and track them. Ideally, it's best to uh, put tracker markers to make it a lot more accurate track and then just remove them afterwards but uh, I forgot to do that so I have to do it like this you can stop it before his head comes up because there's just, we're not going to be using that data anyways alright get that perfect data copy tracking data copy to clipboard alright what you want to do is create a new null Null object, go to the beginning of your timeline and click Control V. And now you have a little null object falling. So what the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the null object, click R and get rid of the time watch. And then press S, get rid of the scale. This is so that it only uses the position of the null and not the rotation, because my neck isn't rotating from side to side and it's not moving closer to the camera or further away. Alright. So then what you want to do is you want to find a photo online of just veins and uh, with that what you could do is click on the veins add a cc cylinder and this will create like a circle and change the render from full to outside so it's just the outside obviously and then what we're going to do is grab the pickwick and drop it to the null so now it follows the position of where the null goes. Alright, with a few settings you can adjust the scale, reposition it, go to rotation, change the X rotation to change where the veins are coming from. I'm going to change I like that. I change veins coming from the side. It doesn't matter if the veins are sticking out past this because we're going to create a mask afterwards anyways just kind of find something you like and uh, we'll go with it all right I like most of this so I'm just gonna get the shading change it to ambient so it's a white mat and I'm gonna grab the veins and the null right click recompose and name this displace it map perfect before you go into it, you want to go to the main footage and control C, double click, control V, drop to the bottom, right click, and then guide layer. This is so you can see it in this comp, and actually know what's kind of happening. Alright, what you can also do is if you click control D on the veins, you can change the position of another one, make it a little bit smaller. Change the rotation. This is so you just get a bit more uh, variation in between the. Perfect. All right. Next, I want to add a fast blur to both of them. So I add just two pixels. And then just copy the fast blur. Drop it on the second one. Alright. Back to the wide shot. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a mat for where we want this to only show. If you go back to Mocha, right click on the spline, spline, delete spline. You zoom out. You're going to create a rough create a all enough mask to go all the way around 
wherever this mask is is where both green and veins will show. Okay. What I like to do as well is I like to go a little bit more on the black shirt. Because when we feather the edges it's going to get rid of parts of it. If we get rid of parts of it then it won't be green all the way through. Alright, so I have to create a quick little mouse and track forwards. And, uh, adjust it as you need. Yeah. Alright, you can see that the mask just kind of follows the shape of my face, or is in the side of the face. And uh, got a little bit of black here, but we can get rid of that afterwards. And, uh, yeah, the, the longer you spend on this, the more accurate it'll be, and uh, the better it'll look. But for tutorial sake, I'm just going to do a quick one. Alright, you can go to Export Shape and copy to clipboard. Alright, what you want to do is duplicate the main footage. Go to the beginning of the timeline, go to edit, paste mocha mask. What this does is it, uh, we could turn off the displacement, is it creates a mask using the After Effects uh, built in mask. You can feather up the edges. But before that, what I want to do is click on the layer, drop down the Luma key, and we're going to key out what's darker. This creates go too far but you can see before and after where the shirt is on the bottom it gets rid of it all right and you can add a bit of feather if you want and then feather the edges all right we're going to use this as a mat so i'm going to change this to face mat now we're going to duplicate the footage one more time and we're going to change this to veins. What you want to do is drop a CC glass. Turn off the face mat because that's hiding the effect. Go to surface. Change it from veins to displacement. And change it from lightness to alpha. Perfect. Change displacement to 2. Softness to about 8. For now. Or maybe even 7. And then the displacement, uh, I like to start at 50. You can see that it's shinier and looks like plastic, so what you can do is just go to specular and turn it all the way down. Alright, so now we got these veins that are tracked to uh, the body. What you can do is go to the veins, go to track man, and change it to alpha mat. And this creates so that it's only in the places where this mat was. The veins will only appear in this location. Turn that back off. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is change the lighting a bit. So you can change the lighting direction, which chooses where the shadows are. But mine is the lights coming from the top left, more or less, because I got a bigger highlight on this side, so the shadow should be on this. All right, you can change the light intensity if you like. Don't, you can fix the colors afterwards with the ambient and diffuse. So you can bring down the diffuse if you wanna change that back down. But I'm just gonna bring the intensity down and then bring the ambient up. There you go, you can start to see that before and after I'm getting some veins. You see that there's one coming up here and it's not the most greatest spot. So what you could do is come up here and lock the composition, double click on displacement, grab the composition top and then move it to the right. Now you can see the two. So that's bottom one is resulting in that so if you go to position or rotation you just change the rotation a bit that 
actually just gonna scale that one down a bit. Move it down. Perfect. Get out of that one, and then click the little watch thing. Here, the lock again. And exit the displacement. I don't need that. And then come back. All right. So you can see that the veins are going up. They've started all the way from the top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find when I start to move my head back. So he begins to jerk his head back. I'm going to go to veins, go to keyframe height at zero. Whoops. Keyframe it at zero. Go a few frames. So when my head's fully jerked, then change it back to what I had, so 15. So now you can see that the veins pop down. You. you can also change the height if you want it to be a little bit more. 20 for now, so you can really see it. And you can see on mine, when I acted, my veins start to slowly fade back right here. So you can keyframe that. So I'm gonna go, change the height to 18, right as it starts. So it slowly gradually kind of goes down and then bring it down to really 12. And turn back on so I can see it. You can kind of see that the veins slowly back if you really want it to show more you can just bring this back down to like eight nice all right then you can continue keyframing it if you like you can bring it back up bring it back down it's really up to you at this point all right i like that Next thing we want to do is new adjustment layer. Bring that above the face mat. Name this green. I'm gonna duplicate the face mat. Bring it above. Type in VC color vibrance. Do the same thing with the alpha mat with the green. Now we got a green part. What I'm gonna do, change this from normal to the soft light. Change the vibrance down. Not too much. Preserve. I'm gonna bring this down as well. To brightness a little bit. And the gamma bring it up. You can see here that the roto didn't work. This is just from poor masking. It's but what we can maybe do to fix it is if we go to the mask, go to F, it's feathered out a bit more. I just kind of got rid of it, not, not too much. And now we're gonna have to animate the face mask the green to go when the veins pop because you don't want it to be green at the beginning of your count. So click veins, click U so you know where the keyframes are, and then go to the face mat and click U as well. So here we're gonna add a linear wipe. change it to 180 starting from the bottom then have the transition come up so you can see if we keyframe it we can animate it going up so bring it down 50 and then when he flexes his head back bring it up You can also feather the edges a bit, so if you don't want it all the way up, it doesn't need to. 
Oh my god, I could just give you a bit more. 32. Thanks. So now we have it's slowly growing while his head's there. Not. You can do is to slowly over time as well just kind of keyframe it so how much you want it so I'm gonna bring it back up so I'll say 38 so it slowly goes down and then when the veins go back down I'm gonna bring it up to like 44 46 it's just this neck So now you can see when it's the veins are going back in, the uh, green is slowly fading away. What you can do to maybe fix that is if you go to the base mat, duplicate, get rid of the linear white. I can solo this layer so I can see it. And then key out what's brighter. So this allows the black shirt to be back in the image. And let's feather that out. This is the shirt top. So so without and with, just kind of adds, get rid of that hard black line. All right, and uh, this is kind of what we got from it. You can see that the track isn't as good. You can see this vein, oops, this vein here is kind of wobbling from side to side. That's due because I didn't put tracker markers. I do recommend putting tracker markers and then removing them. Even if you don't remove them, you might be able to hide them with the green and the, the veins. But still the effect is there where the veins are popping. You can see before that's this the original and then the veins kind of just add that a little bit more. And then the green obviously makes you look like the hog. Overall the effect works quite nicely. You can also do it for a different camera perspective. I changed it and had uh, me coming out towards the camera. You see the edges are a bit feathered too much, but you can just have them coming towards you as well. So it doesn't matter what perspective, you just got to track it the best you can and put the mat on it and the veins. And uh, yeah, you can get this pretty cool effect. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe. And uh, yeah. Bye.